So hello guys, welcome back. And in this video we will finally start with the data mining from the website. So to our scraper.js, uh, I'm gonna add one more comment and I'm gonna do get data from bookstore. And first I want to get the selectors. So we want to get a selector for name. So I'm gonna create name selector will be something and the second one would be the price selector so let's go and get them so let's inspect the name and as you can see we have an h1 under the product main so I'm gonna take this and it's a basically class so I'm gonna do product main and h1 because you want to get the title uh, right under the product main and then let's get the price selector and I think it has a simple class of price color so we can grab it And then we want to start with a scraper. So I'm gonna call await page dot go to, and I want to pass the URL address which I have imported here. So it will basically load this website, and also we will start on this book. And then we need to wait for the selectors to appear to prevent our scraper to be flaky. So I'm gonna call page dot wait for selector and I want to wait for the name selector as well as the price selector so that's it <clears throat> and now when the page is loaded and our selectors are ready we need to actually get the data from them so I'm gonna create a variable and I'm gonna create it the name and here I want to call await page dot evolve so we need to call evaluate function and here we need to pass it the name selector and we want to get and in HTML from that element. So basically what this line of code do is it will grab this uh, selector and it will extract the text from that. So in this case it will be the name. We need to do the same for the price. So we will evaluate the price selector. And again we need to get the inner HTML from that. So step two is to trim the data. So I'm gonna do the name trimmed or just name trim equals name dot trim because you want to get rid of the white spaces etc. So our text is in the unified format. So then I'm gonna create price trim is equal to price dot trim and that's pretty much it now let's try to console log our results to see that it's actually working so I'm gonna console log name trim and price trim and let's see so open terminal npm run scraper press enter and as you can see it uh, scraped the name and the price so our scraper is working fine so let me clear it and of course you don't want your scraper to run in headful mode so we want to run it in headless and we can just modify the console log for now so name plus name trim and the price and 
let's try to run it again npm run scraper and as you can see the name is tipping the velvet and price is 53 and something pounds so our scraper is working and in the next video i want to show you how to store this data to the file but actually no before we go to the storing to the file we of course need to create a utility function for date and time because we want to store uh, exact date and time at the name and price in that current date uh, to the log so we can actually go through it and see the trend of the prices so first i'm gonna show you how to create the utility function for the date and then we're gonna store it into the simple text file and after that our scraper will be pretty much finished so i think that's it for the getting the data and let's move to that date utility